So this is Monkey and Hunter, a projectile motion demonstrating device. Hi, my name is Eric Muller of the Exploratorium Teacher Institute, and I'm going to show you how to make this easy to build projectile motion device. So before we begin, let me give you a quick overview of this device. So over here is our launcher. It's a tube that you blow a projectile through. And on this side is where we're going to have our monkey hanging. It's going to be hanging on an electromagnet. So in the front of our blow tube, we have a little switch right in front. And I need to make sure it's aimed just right. The way I'm going to aim it is I'm just going to look through the tube to make sure it's pointed right at the target. Next, what I'm going to do is set the switch. The switch is just a piece of aluminum foil. Once the switch is set, you can put your projectile in there. And it's time to set up the monkey. Since your switch is set, your electromagnet is now ready to go. So I'm just going to put my monkey on here. I'm going to go back. Everything is aimed. Let's see if we can hit it. So you blow through the tube, the projectile is launched, and you always hit the falling monkey. Amazing. So this version of Monkey and Hunter is really simple, cheap, and easy to build. But it's not really heavy duty. The version we're going to build is just going to be able to support a paper and cardboard monkey. But once you understand the basics of this, you can go nuts and you can build really incredible systems. Let's see how to build this version though. So the Hunter and Monkey device is a very simple circuit. All it is is a switch on one end and a battery or cell on the other end and an electromagnet. That's it. So I'm going to go through all the material you're going to need in order to build this simple projectile device. So we'll start out with the launcher. So what you're going to need is a piece of PVC. Almost any length will do. Trying different lengths is actually pretty interesting to do. You're going to need some aluminum foil for your switch. You're going to need some tape. You're going to need some paper clips. Big ones are probably going to be better. And you're going to need a junction for a half inch piece of PVC. That's the size I'm using over here. You can use different sizes if you want. You're also going to need supplies to build your electromagnet and power supply. And so what you're going to need is coated copper wire. This one happens to be red on the coating. These come in various uh, colors for the coatings, but it has to be coated. Um, probably 28 to 32 gauge would work well. Battery, I'm using a D-sized battery. Just to let you know, you can put more batteries in the system to increase the magnetic strength. You're going to need some nails, piece of 2x4, almost any piece of wood will do, and paper. For the target itself, since this can only support a lightweight target, I'm going to use a picture of a monkey. Actually, this one's a gorilla, so it's not even really a monkey. But we're going to use this one. I'm going to use a binder clip, glue stick. I'm going to use some extra weights just in case I need it, and the paper plate to kind of give it rigidity. So you can connect your launcher and your and your electromagnet using the copper wire. I just find this is too thin and cumbersome. So what I like to use is either speaker wire or old extension cord. And the longer you get it, the better, because you can move your target and your launcher farther apart or closer together. And of course, you're going to need some tools in order to build this. So um, you should try different size lengths of PVC. And a good way to change the length is by using this thing called the PVC cutter. But they can be cut various ways. Scissors, a hammer, this is a wire cutter and stripper, pretty much what you need in order to build this. And of course you're going to need your projectiles. So um, I like to use things that are lightweight that are not going to hurt anybody, but you can use anything from marker pens that will fit inside and like I said, this case it's a half inch uh, diameter piece of PVC. Um, Double A batteries will work. Glue sticks will work to be launched. Um, but what I like to use is something a little bit softer, like these uh, foam 
um, toy bullets will work. Pipettes will work. You can even put a little liquid in there or not. And surprisingly, small marshmallows work too. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to build my electromagnet. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use my nail. I'm going to use some copper wire. I'm going to make about oh, 200 to 250 turns. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with about 20 centimeters of copper wire laying over the edge of the uh, nail. And I'm just going to start wrapping it around. And as I wrap it, I want to make sure I go over a previous wrap so that the uh, first piece of copper wire doesn't come off. And I'm going to keep going and I'm going to count it <clears throat> until I hit about 200 to 250 turns. If you do more turns, you'll get a strong electromagnet. When you do it with this method, I like to put the wrapping is right near the head. Try to bunch them up because you're going to use the other end of the nail later on. You're actually going to hit it into the wood. So I'm going to wrap and wrap and wrap. Now I'm done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors, chop off my wire so that I have another 10 to 15 centimeters on the other side. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take a piece of tape and wrap it around my electromagnet wrapping is to make sure they don't unravel. Good to go. So now that your electromagnet is done, what you need to do is you need to strip the coating on the magnet wire on the two ends that are sticking out. So what I do is I take a small piece of sandpaper, fold it in half, and I drag. So now that this is wrapped, you can put it in your block, and I just tap it in to the base of the block. And we're good to go. You can also get your battery holder set up. I'm just going to use a setup for one battery holder. And the way I do that is I just take a D-sized battery, pop a nail in first, put the D-sized battery right next to the nail, one nail on one side of it, pop another nail on the other side of it, and then pop a nail at the other terminal. Your battery is now held in firmly. So now it's time to get the electrical portion of your device up and running. So what I like to do is take a small piece of aluminum foil and wrap it around the exposed copper wire. This kind of helps bulk this end up so you make a better connection. Next what I do is take this little roll of the ball and I shove it between an, the nail and one of the battery ends. Makes a good connection. Here it is right here. So, now you need to get the electricity out to the switch that's by the launcher, which is some distance away. In order to get this distance, I like to use an extension cord. This extension cord happens to be pre-stripped. If it wasn't, then I would take a pair of wire cutters and strip it off. This one also happens to have three wires sticking out of it, but I only need to use two of them. So now I take one of the wires and I join it to the other wire coming out of the electromagnet and I secure that junction down with a piece of tape. So I'm going to take the other line from the extension cord and wrap a piece of aluminum foil around that to bulk that up. I'm going to shove that into the other terminal of the battery. Once it's all done, I'm going to take some tape and I'm going to make sure this extension cord doesn't come loose. I'm going to tape it really well down to the block of wood. 
So now it's time to make the switch mechanism for your shooter. So the way I do that is I take two large paper clips and I bend up the outer portion of the wire. When the loop is sticking straight up, I tape it on to a PVC junction. I tape them such that there is a small loop sticking out over the edge of the junction, and I make the other paper clip on the exact opposite side, also with the loop sticking out. So the pieces of paper clip that are sticking out at 90 degrees are going to be used to attach to the extension cord. So now take the two wires that you use over from your power supply, but on the opposite end of the extension cord, and twist those on to those pieces of paper clip that are sticking out at 90 degrees. Twist them on nice and tight, tape them on, make sure they're held very firmly. Now insert the PVC pipe into the other end of the junction. So in order to finish off your closed circuit, you need to put a switch between the paper clips. The way I do it is I tear a very narrow piece of aluminum foil and I put them between the two paper clips. I run it from one loop through to the other loop. I make sure there's a good contact and that is your switch. Congratulations, your device is now ready. But make sure the aluminum switch is off, otherwise your battery will drain very quickly. Now it's time to make your target. So I'm going to take my picture of my monkey, which is really a gorilla. I'm going to cut around the outside of it. So as I'm cutting it out, just to let you know that you could actually use different variations of your monkey. This one's a lightweight version, but if you wanted to, you could use a larger image of a monkey. You could use a doll of a monkey. You could use anything you want to do, but you probably have to increase the strength of your electromagnet. Some of the ways you could do that is to get a commercial grade electromagnet, or you can use um, more wraps on your electromagnet, or maybe more batteries. So it's time to put your monkey or gorilla onto a paper plate uh, to give it rigidity. And the way I do it is I just use some glue stick and tack it right on. So now what I need is something that's going to be held on to electromagnet, something that's made out of a ferrous material like the steel binder clip. I put it at the top by the head, but whatever you use, just make sure that whatever you have will stick to an electromagnet. Your target's ready, your device is ready, let's go set it up. So my version of Monkey Hunter, I'm going to put the blow tube on a ladder, but you could put it on a table, you could put it on a ring stand, you could put on anything that will support the tube and let it point out towards the target. On my version, I use a clip just so that I can make adjustments on my tube when I need to. On the other side, I just attach the string to the ceiling, but you can attach the electromagnet almost any way so that the monkey will hang from it. Your monkey and hunter device is ready to go. Good hunting. So, if you want to know more about the science behind this device, check out the associated links and videos.